Good morning, and welcome to Godly Conversation and Coffee. I'm Mary Shepherd. Today, I am very excited because I have with me my friend and special guest, Minister Rosalind Harris. Rosalind is the Executive Director of the Inspiration Center, working with and assisting veterans and their families and the community at large. Welcome, Rosalind. Good morning. Thank Good you. Good morning. I'm so excited <laughs> that you're here. Awesome day today. Rosalind, I want to ask you a question. Why do you think that we, as um, the United States of America, bypass Thanksgiving? We go straight from Halloween to Christmas. There's no or very little celebration for Thanksgiving. Why do you think that is? Well, I, I think that we have entered into a time of corporations taking over and really setting the tone for what our foundations are. And as we know, um, there's always a major emphasis placed on separation of church and state. And so they sort of consider Thanksgiving part of uh, a religious holiday more so than um, a holiday. Well, and certainly as Christians, we consider it Thanksgiving every day. Yes. So there's no such thing as one designated day that we give thanks. But for them, it's another opportunity to make money. And basically, that's what they're in business to do. Mm -hmm. And so they're more concerned about uh, making money mm -hmm. and selling goods okay. than they are about being thankful for what God has already provided. And they've totally left out what originally the day was founded on in the first place. And it was on biblical principles. Yes. Because certainly the pilgrims, when they arrived here, they came and immediately gave thanks, as did each time the children of Israel sojourned somewhere. They gave thanks to wherever they happened to be. And so, but now, since we're moving away from the roots of our uh, faith and our Christianity and being Christ-centered, mm -hmm. That we're more concerned about what can I get, what can I buy. We're more of, we've become a greedy nation. Mercy. More so than a thankful nation. Mercy. Well, you know, in addition to what you were just saying, I was thinking that not only is it because of commercialism, but who are we going to give thanks to? Right. Who, who do we give thanks to and why do we thank them? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, this is where yes. we are at. You know, but I'm so glad that the Bible gives us reasons. Absolutely. I'm so glad he gives us reasons to give praise to the right. Lord. Right, absolutely. You know, Thanksgiving is amongst my favorite holidays. Yes, I yes. Uh, was thinking about what we do during Thanksgiving, and it's a time where families right. gather. There's right. not too many times that we, as a family, no. really come together. I mean, we do birthday parties and things like that. But to really gather right. and to sit around the table to share a meal, to have fellowship Ship with one another. <laughs> exactly. Not only to have fellowship, though, but to have togetherness, to experience yes. Yes. one another. And an intimacy takes place during that time frame as well. In fact, you know, there are so many different times of the year that we think, oh, we'll get together. Yes. But it never happens. But at this particular time, not only are we thankful for the provision that yes. God has given us, but the other part of that, we're thankful for one another. Even though we may have been at odds with one another for yes. a season or whatever, but we lay all of that aside yes. when we come together. Because it's impossible to break bread and stay angry with someone. It is impossible. Impossible. Because, <laughs> and then even when the times they do flare up and there is a, that occasion, a loud voice, or whatever the case may be, we remind each other. Yes. This is Thanksgiving, right? And we're going to have a good time, right? We're going to enjoy each other's company. Yes, Rosalind. You know, I was looking at the Word of God, and if you thirty Psalm thirty one through five, mm -hmm. it's just awesome. Yes. let me read it to you. Go ahead. I will praise you, Lord, because you rescue me. <laughs> you did not let my enemies laugh at me, Lord, my God. I prayed to you, and you healed me. You lifted me out of the grave and you spared me from going down to the place of the dead. Yes. Sing yes. praises to the Lord, you who belong to him. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that you who belong right. to him? Right. He's, and it goes on to read, 
Sing praises to the Lord, you who belong to him. Praise his holy name. His anger lasts only a moment, but his kindness, kindness lasts for a lifetime. Crying may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Absolutely. What did you, isn't that awesome? That's sweet joy. Sweet joy. Sweet joy. Because, you know, as we lay down during the night, really, tomorrow is not promised. It sure isn't. And so when we awaken the next morning, when he rises, as, well, lifts us up, let me say that, um, each morning with new mercies, yes. with grace. Yes. I mean, that in itself is enough to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, you Father. Jesus. <laughs> because honestly, but for the grace of God, mm. many do not rise each day. Mm. And so for no other reason than that, many do not have food to eat, Mercy. clothes on their back, Mercy. a shelter over their heads. Mercy. Many have so much that the others that have so little would simply... It's almost as if they would say, I'm reminded of a lady last week at um, the stand down who told me that when you don't have things that you are used to, a simple thing that you have forgotten, such as a piece of chocolate. She was so grateful for a piece of chocolate because she hadn't had any. In fact, she told me she hadn't had chocolate in over four years. Mercy. And that, I mean, something as simple, simple. as that. The, simple. the simplest things. And this is, you know, and so a simple thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. Amen. And praising God for Amen. keeping your family safe. He says, I will praise you, Lord, because you rescued me. Yes. You know, Roz, I can't number the times that the Lord rescued oh, me. Oh, me either. <laughs> <laughs> I can't number, you know, the close accidents that we could right, have had. Right. Driving on the highway. Yes. The, the experience of people... Um, Coming against us, not necessarily in a physical way, no. but with the words they say, absolutely, you absolutely. know, the plans that the enemy sets for us that we don't even know, but yet God rescues, rescues. us. Exactly. I love this part. He says, uh, "You lifted me." Uh, oh, excuse me. Before I go there, you, you prayed. I prayed to you, and you healed, healed me. me. Roz, when I was in the military with my husband, we didn't have the. Uh, Luxury of always going to the hospital because, for one, where we lived at, the hospital was miles right, away. Right. <laughs> you know, you <laughs> yes. know what I'm talking about being overseas. Absolutely. The hospital wasn't close. Right. And so, my first instinct was to pray. Yes. And lay hands on my yes. children. And they recovered. Right. He, the Bible says, and you healed, healed me. Exactly. But not only from sickness, Roz, what about heartache? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And from betrayals. Think about that. I mean, there are times when we feel that we can't go on because that which we cherish the most, those who we cherish the most, and even friends, family, whoever, have betrayed us in one form or fashion, some intentionally, some unintentionally. Yes. But the truth of the matter is, that's a deep hurt that's deep in the very fiber of our soul. Yes. And yet the Lord reaches down Come on, and he puts forgiveness in our hearts yes. and with the forgiveness the more we forgive the more we are healed he heals preach girl through our being obedient and being and forgiving to those who have harmed us so it's not always just what we think of as physical attacks yes. to our person yes. but it's also to our spirit man to our spirit man and that's very important a lot of times we don't really think about the spirit man but most of the things that are done to us are literally done to the spirit and then manifested in, in the, the flesh. physical. That's exactly that is right. right. And so we need to give thanks because you said something very powerful. Forgiveness is a form yes, of it is. healing. Yes, it is. And too often, Rosalind, we don't want to forgive. No. And we if we do, we say, well, we'll forgive, but we won't forget. But the truth <laughs> of the matter is, if God throws all of our discretions and indiscretions and transgressions on, into girl. the lake of uh, forgetfulness, yes. then why should we hold on to something that he forgets no more? He remembers no he more. Know, he doesn't remember. You know, and so if he can forgive us, and I, I know for a fact that I am so far from being perfect. <laughs> So well, far, he has nothing. had to work really hard with me. He's not so the only he, one. <laughs> so if he can forgive me, yes. then who am I not to forgive others? Amen. And who are any of us not to forgive others? And I hear so many individuals say that they know this, yes, but it's not easy. 
And the Bible didn't say it was easy. No, no. He didn't say that. No. What the Bible says that he heals us. Right. He gives us what right. we need right. to become more than overcomers. Absolutely. And even though you've been betrayed, you've been hurt, you know, and I think another hurt that we don't really think about is found in our local bodies called the church. Right. We get offended, we get a, a hurt, you know, and all that other good stuff. But God is not the author of all no, of that. No, he's not. God is a God that knows how to get inside of here where nobody else is supposed to be allowed. Right. And fix right. things. Right. He can turn right. it around for us. Oh, so I really, and I, this is one of my favorite songs, Psalm, yes. one, uh, Psalm 30, 1 through 5. And then the, this last part where he says, we've been made endure for a night. Oh, yes. But the joy. joy comes in the morning. <laughs> Unspeakable joy. Unspeakable it's joy. joy that I can't even put into words, but I know it's there. Yes. And it makes me smile even when my heart is heavy. You know, it just makes me rejoice on, at girl. the simplest things. I mean, I can take joy in the birds chirping, in the leaves singing, <laughs> singing their praises to an awesome, awesome God. God. Yes. I mean, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And you so when sing. I remember that and I think about, wow, okay, that was yesterday, but this morning is a new, new gift. Thing. Called the present. Come on. And then this day, I can have joy yes. beyond anything that I can imagine or anyone else can give me. And that only comes because you have a relationship with Jesus Absolutely. Christ. Absolutely. When we Absolutely. are born again and have entered into a true relationship with the Lord, then joy is just unspeakable. It's, it's a gift that He gives us, it yes. is a yes. fruit yes. of His Spirit. Absolutely. You Absolutely. know, it, it's a love. Yes. And then next with joy yes. and peace. <laughs> See, it is, it is who God is Absolutely. in us. Sometimes we don't feel like being happy, but we can't always help from being joyful. Absolutely. We find joy comes in the morning. And I like what it says, in the morning. It's not talking about a time frame, no. per se, no. evening, noon, morning. It's talking about a new horizon. A new horizon. A new yes. beginning. Yes. A newness. Absolutely. And in that newness... There is joy. Absolutely. So there's a reason to thank God. Oh, yes. but, well, let me see. He rescues us. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Uh, he heals us. Thank you, Jesus. He gives us joy in the Hallelujah. newness of the yes, day. Yes, he does. Thank you, yes, Jesus. Yes, he does. Do you have a psalm or a word? Because we have another one. Well, I do have one, as a matter of fact. I have Psalms 95, too. Girl, come on with <laughs> Psalm 95. Because one of the reasons that we can have this joy mm -hmm. is because of so is our salvation. Okay. The fact that Jesus has rescued, redeemed us. Okay. For, for eternity of hell. And I'll just be honest. I'm not going to dress it up, make it pretty. Come it's on, the girl. lake of fire, and it's called hell. Hell. Pure and simple. That's the word. But, but through salvation, through God's grace. Come on, girl. He gives us this free gift. And so Psalms 95 too speaks to me about that as well. But it speaks to me about being thankful for that. And so it says, let us come. I'm sorry, I'm leaving. The <laughs> I'm so excited I'm leaving the screen here. But it says, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. And the truth of the matter is the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. So our salvation comes from Jesus Christ, our belief in him yes. as who he is. Yes. And so we should always come before him joyfully yes. with a spirit of thanksgiving. Yes. Because to be perfectly honest, we were on our way to destruction. Mm. To destruction. Tell the truth. But because of who his father is mm -hmm. and the fact that we are his creation, yes. he wanted better for us. So what did he do? He sent himself dressed up in flesh yes. in the person of Jesus Christ yes. to come and save us. Yes. How can we not How can sing? we not be joyful? How can we not <laughs> sing praises, praises to our God? Of thanksgiving be to our loving father. Paul said, God. as a wretch like me. Exactly. A wretch like exactly. me. A, re a, a wretch, wretch undone. like me. <laughs> exactly. And he saved me. Yes. Not because I yes. deserve no. salvation. No, no, no. Not because I did good things because most of the time I didn't. He saved me because he loves me. Yes. And not only does he love me, he loves you. Yes. And he loves everybody that hears our voice. Right. He loves us. It is not his will that any man should perish, no. but all should come to repentance. Yes. There is nothing that God cannot heal. 
There is nothing that God cannot forgive. That's right. There is nothing that God cannot deliver from. That's there right. is nothing. And so this is what we do. We give praise and thanks to our God yes. for being God all by himself yes. and for looking upon us as his children. Yes. We give, oh, I feel oh, it in my spirit. <laughs> I feel that great in my spirit. Thanks. Absolutely. Oh, you know, Psalm 1. 107. Yes. Oh, y'all. We, we have a reason to give praise. Yes. Oh, if ye would just praise the Lord. Yes. You would feel so much better. Sometimes, oh, yes. before yes. we talk about, but sometimes when we are just down in spirit, he said, come before with singing. singing. Didn't you just read that in yes. Psalm 95? Yes. Have a song, a song in your, in your heart. heart. That's right. A song in your heart will lift your head. Yes. A song in your heart will remind, and not, not James Brown. No. No, not him. No. I'm talking about Jesus. <laughs> That's right. A song in your heart right. will lift your head. Yes. A song in your heart will lift your spirit. Yes. And even though it's raining all around you. Yes. Even though it's trouble on every side. You can smile. That's you can be up. like right. the disciples in exactly. the boat. Exactly. Even though it was you filling up with water, mm -hmm. you can make it to the other yes, side. Yes, you can. Because of who we serve. Exactly. Psalm 107. It starts off with this. Oh, give thanks. Yes. Now, I was reading Psalm 107, and it is a very long psalm. It is. And um, could you turn to that real, real fast with me? Okay. I, 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 it's a long psalm. But in that psalm, it's actually a song, it psalm, is. psalm, so, but right. in that psalm, it is written four times this verse. Mm -hmm. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness yes. and for his wonderful works to the children of men. My Lord. Four times. Oh, that men mm -hmm. would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. How long is that psalm? Is that it goes? Let's see, it goes all the way from one to turning forwards, keep going to verse 43. 43 verses, and four times in that psalm, it reads, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. There is a reason to praise the Lord. Yes. And in that psalm, that psalm is really a psalm of deliverance. Yes, when, G, when, um, the, when God was leading the children of Israel out of captivity in, with Pharaoh. Yes. And so, as he, and he talks about, they recap all the things that they were going through. And then you would read, Oh, that men mm -hmm. would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to men. My question would be, can you think of your, on your journey... How many times God was there for you? Can you remember? I know, I know it's just flashy. Right. All the times on your journey as you was walking with God. And then there he was. And as it seemed like it was darkness, but right. there, he was. there he was. When there was trouble, but there, there he, he was. was. Can you be, isn't it time that we clap our hands, lift our voices, give God thanks? I love Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving is not just a day. No. It is an attitude. Yes. It is an attitude. It's what's in your heart. Do you are you always thankful or are you always miserable? Are you always complaining or are you always praising? Which one do we do? I thank God that we his people, we complain sometimes. Yes, we do. And sometimes we do some grumbling, but most of the time we remember to give him praise for who he is. Absolutely. And you know, the other part of that is that we should be thankful for all things and not just for the big things. Because a simple thing, well, for me, I thank him every time I can get a parking spot. It, thank <laughs> Something it. as simple as that. Yes. Or I thank him that, I, you know, that he keeps me on task because I have a tendency to wander on, on occasions. But he will bring back to my remembrance that what, which I'm supposed to do yes. to get done at this day. Yes. What I'm supposed to get pour out to others as well. And so I thank him for the words to give to people that I meet. Not only people that I know, but strangers that he places in my path. Yes, he will. To give a kind word to. Because you never know what someone else is going through. Amen. And so we only think of thanking God for big things, you know, or we're upset when he doesn't give us what we want on our wish list. And I always tell people, you know, God is not a catalog 
uh -oh. that you can point to and say, I want this, and then get upset when you don't receive that. Well, that's because, because that's, that's not way, who he is. But that's the way we're we're starting to see well, God. We are, yes, as, as a consumer, you know, more as so a consum consuming. Yes, consumer. Yes, exactly, and instead of being poured out. And we need to, you know, when you said that, Roz, I think about Santa Claus and uh, all that other good stuff. And Christmas is on my top one. You know, I like Christmas. I don't, but I don't like Christmas for the consumer part. No, I celebrate because my God sent. Yes. Yes. A gift to us. Exactly. He sent a gift yes, he to did. men. Yes, he did. And he said, he said that it, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave. That he gave. That's the word. That's right. That he gave. He gave his only begotten Son. That's right. That whosoever, whosoever believed in him, who was, okay, should not perish, but have everlasting, life. everlasting life. He sent a gift, and so I, I'm reminded of that again. We don't need a day to designate no, that, we don't. but because there is a day, I think we ought to celebrate it with an open heart, with a loving heart, and another time to give God some of our issues. Oh yes. At, at, see, Absolutely. I give him some of my issues on Christmas. Exactly. I don't just look for my presence. Oh no, no. no. I give God That's right. my issues That's right. so I can be more like him yes. and less like me. Exactly. Well, I am this is great. This is this is exciting. <laughs> I know you have another scripture. So what was you what was it that you have? Well it's one of my favorite. Uh it's Philippians four six. Okay. And the reason it is my favorite because it tells us what we need to do. What do we need okay. to do? First of all, it says, be anxious for nothing. And I mean absolutely nothing. As I said before, we only want to thank God for the big things. And then we want to have anxiety over things that we can't control. We have nothing that we can control. Okay. Everything we're supposed to put in God's hands. And so he tells us, be anxious for nothing. Okay. Okay. But in everything, in everything. by prayer and supplication, Man. with thanksgiving. I'm sorry, I forgot that. With thanksgiving, <laughs> let your request be made known to God. So in other words, what he's really saying is, thank me first. Uh -oh. Thank me first. See, don't wait until after I deliver it. Come on. When you pray and you ask, thank me in advance. In Amen. other words, because if you already know by faith that I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. My promises are true. Yes. And I have never gone back on my word. Mm -hmm. And as we know, God is not a God that he shall lie. Nor a son, nor a of, son man, of man that, that he, he shall, shall repent. repent. So if he said it, he's going to do it. Yes. But it's how we go to him and ask. And we go with a grateful heart. We go not because, oh, Lord, I don't know, woe is me. No, we go with an assurance. assurance. First of all, because he's invited us to come yes. to him. And so we go with the assurance yes. that we will be heard, yes. that we can let our petitions be made known unto him, and that we are trusting and believing that he's going to answer us. Yes. And by the way, did you know that sometimes those answers take time? Because Sometimes they, they take do. time. And they take time for a reason. Yes. Because he's having to move some things. He's yes. having to move some people. He's having to relieve you of some things yes. that you don't need in your life. Come on. And so it's not always instant you know, because this is a microwave time. Everything mm -hmm. is instant. Things. Right now, right now, you know, right hurry now. Hurry up. Let yes. me have it. But the truth of the matter is, you know what? Sometimes we need to be still. Yes. And wait on him. Yes. But we need to be still and know that he is God. He is God. And that he delivers on his promises. All we have to do is to cast our cares upon him. Why? Because he cares for us. You know that I, this is, I'm just... I can't hardly talk. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is what I want the people to understand how much our Father loves us. Yes. We're going to conclude with this scripture, Psalm 34. Psalm 34 is so awesome. Yes. It's in 34 1, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. And that's the way we want, he wants us to live. Always thanking him, always praising him. Always loving him. Always giving him the credit. Always giving him the glory. God loves us so much. Yes, he does. It's beyond really our comp uh, uh, comprehension. Thank you. It's you know, we Absolutely. can't filter this because no. of the way we are and the things that we do. But it has nothing to do with his love. I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. And the scripture that we're going to look at for the... 
at, for the conclusion of our broadcast is simply Psalms 34, verse 19. Many yes. are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. So like she was reading in Philippians 4 and 6, no matter what you're going through, no. make your request known yes. with thanksgiving. Because we have a God that knows how to deliver. That's right. We, yes. He has he never does. failed yet. No, he has not. He didn't stop being God when the children of Israel came out of the wilderness. He didn't stop being no. God. He's still God today. Yes. He's still delivering today. He's still walking with you. And you know what? I don't know where you are, but don't let the devil lie to you. No. God has his arms yes, wide he open. Yes, He's he not does. like us. He does not harbor yesterday against you. Right. He's not got this big old stick. He doesn't have a checklist counting off all the times when you promised, when I promised, when we said we weren't going to do this, that, and the other. That's not him. No. No. Every day is a new opportunity, a new gift, a new reason to thank God. Every day. Every, every day. Every, every minute of the hour. Right. Every, you know, just this conversation is making me thankful. It makes me thankful because someone out there might need to remember hmm. that there is a God that loves them. Yes. He's not turned his back on you. He's not going to forget about you. He's not going to not answer your prayer. His desire is to answer That's your right. prayer. That's right. His desire is to meet your need. His desire is that you would come to him, making your requests known, casting all of your cares on him, and trusting him to bring it to pass. And you know, one of the things that I would like for us to really uh, reflect on this Thanksgiving season uh, I know that all of the stores are opening early now. It used to be Black Friday, but instead now they've infringed upon yes. uh, this time. No more Black Friday. No, right. <laughs> but you know, I, right now in the culture of today, there are so many people who are lost, who are hurting. We talk about the family and the foundation of the yes. family. And yet the enemy is trying to destroy the very fabric of our families. And so we need to spend some time, literally, during this season and being grateful for what God has done. Just simply being together. Amen. Being together, sharing one another, loving on one another yes. is important. You know, I know many are going to be rushing out for this sale or that sale, but let's be realistic. The sales really started last week and this week. So there's nothing going to be new coming up on that particular day. But the time that you spend with your loved one. Yes. and Because I want to remind everyone, you know, tomorrow is not promised to no. any of us. No. Not at all. No. And so we need to be thankful and redeem the time that we have right now. Yes. To tell our loved ones, our friends, that I care about you. Yes. I am thankful that God has placed you in yes. my life. That my life depends on you. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, I want you to experience the joy of Jesus Christ that I have. Mm -hmm. I mean, just take a little time. Just a little time. Just a little. He doesn't require much of us. But we need to at least invite him to the table. Because after all, he's the one who has provided it all. Well... I hope you had a good time with us today. I know I do. I sure do. <laughs> this has been so much fun. But I also want to just say this too. She was so correct. Get a card. A little thank you note. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for how you have helped me to grow closer to the Lord. See, sometimes we forget that our enemies are, yes. are instruments to help us yes. run closer to the Lord. Right. So even the bad things, Romans 8, 28, all things, things work yes. together for well, the good, good of them. <laughs> so God knows yes. how to knit all this stuff together yes, to does. make a beautiful tapestry. Yes, he so, does. So take time. Send a little thank you note. Just let people know you're grateful. Not right. so much for the things that they did, no. but because God put this, yes. put them in your life Just for, for who they purpose. Are. That's right. Amen. Just for who they are. Let's pray. All right, go ahead. Merciful Father, I want to thank you so much. Yes, Lord. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to be a witness for you. Yes. But I'm so also grateful for my friend being with me so that we together can be one voice 
saying yes. how awesome you are. Yes, you are, Lord. And we have nothing but thanksgiving in our heart. Thank you, Lord. Because you've been so good to us every day of our lives, yes. Lord. And I pray for those who are listening. I pray that you would touch their hearts, Lord God. Bring to the remembrance, Lord God, how you so love them. Yes. How you so love them. Meet every need. And let this holiday be one of the best they yes, ever had. Lord. We give you the honor, yes, the praise, and the glory. In oh, Jesus' name. Jesus amen. Name. Amen and amen. Thank and you. happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>